So it's seeker input in Volvo. And then at the where it says be established in 2012, I put a period and delete the rest of that sentence. And I'm taking a cue from the fact that I also believe very strongly that because of the things that have been done uh, in December of last year, I do not want to create, I'm, I'm looking to create something that's going to last for some period of time. So I know we've got a little bit of a glitch here um, with the NFP policy board elections that are coming up, but I think we're just going to have to talk that through. I can make those suggestions. Can everyone? Yeah. Yeah. Well, that, that, not, not, not that I could want it. Um, Mr. The, only thing, the, only thing that, the only thing that I would say on that, uh, just to not even say, the, just as a kind of a point um, also, is that this will be up for review. So we will get feedback from neighborhoods too um, over the next 30 days of where people um, feel on this. I, I am not strong. Personally, I'm going to take a position on this one, other than that there should be neighborhood reps on the policy board. So um, it'll be interesting to see what kind of feedback we get, if any, regarding this issue and <coughs> to inform that decision. Commissioner Hines. I, I'm fine with changes. I just, and, and this goes back to, and I think maybe if we have consensus on the commission, that this in particular should be one of the points that is called out and neighborhoods are asked for their thoughts and some different options, options are put out there. Because um, there's going to be a lot of stuff out there, and it's going to be easy to kind of miss this. But determining who represents somebody else without involving them is always a recipe for disaster. Is there consensus to have the, yes. yeah, the new language? I'm okay with it. All right. <laughs> I believe we have consensus. Number seven. Commissioner Perry. This uh, is, uh, I've said this to, to Commissioner Strand, the last part of the sentence, fund neighborhood programs and NCA neighborhood support services for the period 2014 to 2020. I'm fine with it. The rest of this, I don't get. Yeah, I do not understand what the point of this is. Um, I thought it had to do with CPP plan approval, but I'm not really sure. What I will say are the facts. $1.5 million has been um, put in to extend the contracts of neighborhood organizations. No additional CPP plan submissions are required for that additional $1.5 million that go off of June 2012. Therefore, there will be no plans to approve until July of 2012. So I'm not sure what's going on here. I don't get this. Strength. Well, for example, under the neighborhood priority plans, what if the city decided to <coughs> allocate a million dollars out of the capital improvement fund for neighborhood priority plans? Would that go to the NRP policy board? I shouldn't say NRP policy board, probably. Um, I think that ought to go to the NCEC. So, for example, non-NRP derived funding programs, or what about money that is in the CPP that somehow rolls back to the NCR? Or could there be other modifications? So the, the line in the sand that I'm trying to draw here is that the consolidated TIF funding, not NRP source, belongs with the department and the commission. Could you just say that? Um, yes, I just did. Because that I understand. Uh, if someone can rewrite it, great. Yeah, we can. Yeah, that part I understand. Put in one of those in intent statements we have for Or uh, we'll, let, we'll let Mr. Thompson play for a second. Basically, not in our feed funding should be the responsibility of this. Yes. The NCEC requests that consolidated non NRP TIF. Fund. I think it should be funding derived from non NRP sources. Yeah. That's pretty clear. Okay.
and add 8, 9, and 10. say something more general. Instead of CPP plan, maybe program plans and funding. Plan. I'm just not interested in getting caught up in the specific. If your intent is that okay. that creates a relation, a strong bond. Yes. So no. you read a CPP. Well, it's the only bond. Neighborhood program? I'm just saying it's neighborhood commissioner pass and programming. I, I don't, the, the, I mean, you know, speaking from my role as a neighborhood person, there, there's almost nothing else going on between this commission and the neighborhoods, and if that's not and, and I think we need to assert that that should be, I mean, maybe we need to foreground that, because that is the only experience people are having with this commission, and maybe we need to say, maybe we need to just raise the level of its value or something. I, I think your point you're saying thus far is largely correct. It's going to be the only thing that we've done. Yeah. Will we get that, Robert, C, number eight, CPP plans? CPP goes out in neighborhood plan three programming. No, I'm sorry. Yeah. The CPP goes out. Yes, neighborhood programming plans and funding. Yeah, I don't know if it's necessary to say that, but it might be useful, politically useful. Are we good with that? Yes. Yes. Number nine. Picky in, but to reflect the comment that I stated before on nine, the first line on the screen um, after NCEC, but as a liaison singular. So put the word a, the letter A after as and make liaison singular. You know, so we're not the liaison, we're a liaison. So you know what I mean? Picking you, but actually to, stink, to, to change yeah. the intent. Are we okay? I, what I think uh, Commissioner Over said is we are no longer, this prior said that we are the only liaison that's the same that there are multiple ways that yes. neighborhoods communicate with the city. Mm -hmm. Other things on number nine? Number ten. Oh, Commissioner Hines. Nice Commissioner Perry. I actually think, and I'm not sure if it's a delete all or an add all. Um, I think Jeff here is trying to be very polite, and I think we should be more blunt and just say the city council should line the something along the, the new NRP policies with the intent of the CPP guidelines approved by the NCC. So we all know there's a couple of issues we talked around with the program where there's existing NRP policies that would then change what we had last year, especially as far as eligible expenses. Um, and I think everyone's heard me really get that we need to take those out. And so I think we should just, our direction of the council, that will be with what they want, is that the, what we approve in the CPP guidelines, if there are energy policies that don't, the council should direct to take those out as much as possible. And I know they'd be legal or anything, but this is talking about our intent, not about making the final decision. I seem to feel like that was in the work plan. So what is what is, your, what is your actual verbiage, Mr. I would probably do uh, delete all and just insert 
um, the city council should align uh, the NRP policies with the intent of the CPP guidelines approved by the NCC. The city council should align NRP policies with the intent of the CPP guidelines approved by the NCC. Not comfortable with that. There is not consensus on this. Eric, I think the NRP phase one and NRP phase two have very different purposes than what the CPP. I, I get I get Commissioner Hines point completely, and so it, it, it maybe it's just a matter of wording. But NRP phase one had a very specific specific purpose. NRP phase two had different purposes. The new neighborhood funding program has yet a different set of purposes that hopefully is being is building on the previous programs. So I'm not comfortable in making that kind of statement. I think if I do like the fact that the NCC would be involved in vetting those, I think we'll know it doesn't fit. I don't think we can do that in January of 2012. And so I would delete that part and keep the rest. I think, Mr. Perry, that's referring to the transition. Well, try, trying to vet all those programs and policies in one month, I think, is not practical. I think the language is just referencing the transition in January of okay. 2012. Not the work plan. For all right. Commissioner Hines. I think I have something that I think can be because I understand what you're talking about. So, and, and my intent was not that they changed the policies for existing phase one and phase two plans. Right. So, I think if we added something along for the new CPP guidelines and then do that as a preamble, so then the city council shall align there or, you know, the intent. So, uh, it, clarifying the point that this is about the new programs. The new program going forward, not about changing existing energy policy for the old programs going back. I, yep, and, and I, I agree. I think we're all pretty, um, for instance, the one that was a policy, not statutory, the advertising <coughs> neighborhood newsletters, I thought we could get a majority of people, if not all, to say that's that's a policy that doesn't make sense anymore. So that's getting in alignment. I think there may be other things as well that just don't make sense going forward. And we can um, so, it, at a minimum, what you said, I would agree with. Can you state your... Yeah, so Robert, I would just add, is for the new CP, or even for the updated CPP guidelines, comma, well, comma is optional there, maybe at the beginning, so it, it be before, so right before where the city council should. So the very beginning of the sentence. Okay. So yeah, for the updated CPP guidelines, the city council should align NRP policies to the intent of the CPP guidelines approved by the NCC. Commissioner Strand helps as well. As One other commissioner. Strand. Could we use shall rather than should? Yeah. Yeah. Should? I mean, yeah. Yes. I mean, Mr. Thompson. I mean, we can't find the council, but I'm just trying to this from the perspective. I mean, for changing these policies, why not have consistency across the board? I think the question that Commissioner Perry raises that I think is. I think I want to open a small can of worms, not a large can of worms. It, because there, you know, like, if some of the things that are unallowable expenses under the old, if you went back and changed all of them, you might get a whole rush of plan mods and all sorts of things there. I think we came up with some really clear direction last year that all of a sudden has to change because of the changes. And so I think just I'm just focused on that part of it. I'm not worried about changing the rules for phase one and phase two because those were the rules that were in place when people developed those plans. I think we're shifting ground measures to neighborhoods with just the council. And, and I would add, if I may, that they have every opportunity to um, utilize the CPP funds if they, if this were abided by, uh, to take things that maybe are in the plans that they would maybe want to modify given our rules that we put in place this year. So I think there's opportunity for money to be moved around, there's strategies to be moved around. Just got a kick from Commissioner Holford, from the NCC 54. 
Mr. Rubin or the Mr. Church. It doesn't matter the piece where it says the, uh, the city council, um, the policy board and the city council. That would be better. So, because policy board obviously will have a role in yes. the policy. Um, uh, 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 Commissioner <coughs> Strand. Well, I just, I think you're losing something when you take out the possible role of the NCDC. That was actually suggested by another commissioner. Dropping that out, um, I think we lose something here. And that it consider a possible role for the NCDC to play in the evaluation process for existing NRP policies and procedures. I guess I thought I was capturing that with the guidelines approved by us. It, so, Jeff, that was my, you know, my intent was not to lose our role, but that keeping our role to the CPP guidelines. I'm okay. That's what I thought your intent was as yeah. well. I keep going back that the guidelines are a policy document, and that allows us to drive some of these other changes through that. Can we then add just at the bottom one of those little int NCEC intent, uh, NCEC plays a role in evaluating? Yeah. Looking at the whole thing, Commissioner Strand. Well, one last question that wasn't in there, but uh, in the old policy board, the director is an ex officio member. Does the director of the board have any idea of not becoming? I think that would be actually a positive step. Um, no, I actually, I, I don't see, well, I mean, put that in there if you'd like, um, obviously, but uh, I would see our role as being staffing the uh, policy board, but not being a member of the policy board. One question I have is, do we, uh, in terms of, we were silent to, to the number of neighborhood members on the actual membership of it. We were saying that there, there has to be like, there has to be neighborhood folks. Is there a desire to state how many staff is recommending for? Is there a point on that? I would hope that that's one of the places that staff, that they would be engaging with neighborhoods about. Because if, if you look at the changes to language earlier in this, if you're engaging with neighbors about how they're represented, one of the things you're asking them is quantity as well as how they're selected. Okay. Yeah. Well, and you go up to that to number to number and whatever it is. Uh, yeah, that looks good. Number six, perfect. The NCEC recommends that the, the, the after that the paper organizations, comma, the number of representatives, comma, and the desire not to add like add a clause like that. Yeah. Is that okay? With that, is there consensus on what was formerly, what was currently known as the Strand Resolution, or will become known as the NCEC Resolution? And all that, is there consensus to support that? Yes. 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 With that, we have consensus to support this provided document as Mr. Thompson. Staff, are there any things that you are missing from us that you want, needed wanted policy direction on? We have quite a lot to work with. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so, just if I may, procedurally, tomorrow we will be sending out a resolution or an amended restated resolution proposed by the CDC, and we'll try to capture this as best as we can. But we'll be taking these two different documents and then pulling the pieces together in what seems to be the most relevant for the, for the resolution. Both of these resolutions will also be sent to the council, um, the staff report, um, as it continues to move forward. Um, in addition, tomorrow you'll see a, a resolution for the policy board. Um, the policy board resolution will state four neighborhood reps on there, but obviously we're doing it on the public comment period, so people can comment on that. And also state the um, uh, amended uh, um, uh, NRP ordinance. So you'll have, everybody will have 
the chance to look at that. We've extended this again for a 30 day comment period. Um, and then the uh, public hearing will be on the next ones. So, one of the items that uh, I have facilitated or those who played is that uh, I need to make sure that what they're saying reflects what we have stated tonight. I'm going to ask that Commissioner Holford and perhaps the entire facilitation commission uh, help me in that, but that's one of the roles that I play in your selection of the idea. Right so, good work. Thank you for your hard work and have, taking the time to have me.